Boynton Beach is an incredible and affordable city to move to, and it's one of the largest beach cities in South Florida. If you've been considering a move to Boynton Beach, Florida, this is the insider info you need before you make a move. Let's take a look at all of the pros and cons of living here right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in learning more about living in Boynton Beach and the surrounding areas in Palm Beach County, Florida, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be the first to know about the current market here. Hi everyone, my name is Melanie and my team and I have helped people just like you buy a great home here in Palm Beach County, Florida. We get calls and emails all the time from people just like you looking to move or relocate here. So whether you're moving across the street or across the country, feel free to call, text, or email me and my team so we can help you make a smooth move to your new home in beautiful Palm Beach County. All right, to begin with, our first pro is moving to Boynton Beach is the weather, of course. This part of the country has some of the best weather year round. Our sunny South Florida weather is the main attraction for folks considering or already living here. And the autumn and winter stay around 70 degrees. And occasionally there might be a cold front that drops it down to 55 or so, but not often. Our next pro is you won't have to pay income taxes. So your cost of living is less expensive in Florida because you only pay sales tax. This is the top reason why South Florida is seeing so many people from California moving to Boynton Beach. We have everything that California has to offer, but without the high income taxes. Okay, back to the beach itself. If you like quiet beaches, then you are going to love this next pro. Boynton Beach is really nice and underrated in my opinion. You'll mostly see families here. These are the locals that live here year round. Boynton Beach itself is not as busy as other beaches nearby, like Jupiter or Del Rey. This is a pro because it provides a quiet, peaceful vibe here. Boynton Beach may not be as busy as the neighboring beaches, but that doesn't mean there aren't plenty of water activities to do. This unique pro to living in Boynton Beach is the famous Boynton Beach Inlet, where hundreds of boats cross in and out of each day. This convenient access to the inlet makes it one of the busiest fishing areas in Palm Beach, with plenty of charter fishing boats that go out daily. The inlet also provides access to remarkable intercoastal dining. The most well-known restaurant is Two Georgias, a seafood grill and bar where you can get freshly caught fish right by your table. This restaurant has been a Boynton Beach staple since 1957, so they know a thing or two about delicious seafood. Along with fishing, another pro to this area are water activities that you can enjoy, like windsurfing, diving, snorkeling, kiteboarding, and so much more. Where Boynton Beach lacks in terms of having a bustling downtown area, they make up for in terms of water activities. Whether you hear Boynton Beach, you may also hear about Lake Worth. Lake Worth and Boynton Beach are often grouped together because Boynton Beach is 10 minutes south of Lake Worth, and there are a lot of new construction homes along the border here. I have made many videos about Lake Worth and Boynton Homes, so if you have any questions about living here, just reach out to me and I'm happy to help. Another pro to living in Boynton Beach is that most of the communities and neighborhoods here are more affordable. Unlike the homes in surrounding areas like Boca Raton and Palm Beach Island, you can easily find a luxury home for a million or less in Boynton Beach. Our next pro is the golf courses in Boynton Beach. In central Boynton Beach, there are stunning Westchester Country Club Golf Course. This is one of the oldest golf courses in the city, and the whole neighborhood is simply a beautiful and serene area. It is golf cart friendly neighborhood. Anytime I drive through there, I hardly see any cars, just folks cruising around on their golf carts. Shopping and exploring brings me to my next pro to living in Boynton City. That is just a short drive to busy areas in South Florida, like Palm Beach, so the location is amazing. You're really in the middle of it all. Most people that live in Boynton Beach spend a ton of time in West Palm Beach because it's only 20 minutes away. West Palm Beach is filled with many top-rated restaurants. The Kravis Center, Rosemary Square, downtown, hotels, and nightlife, like bars, clubs, and venues. 
West Palm Beach's downtown area is called The Square, and it's a large open space that's perfect for exploring the city. There are plenty of nice boutiques and restaurants here. During Christmas time, there's an ice skating rink and snow falls in the square at the top of every hour. It's a fun time for the whole family. There's also a huge tree called the Wishing Tree that lights up and plays Christmas music. Another location pro to Boynton Beach is that it's only a short drive from Boynton Beach to Lantana. Lantana is north of Boynton Beach and is a small coastal town known for its yearly fishing derby. The vibe here is relaxed, middle-aged bohemian folks. The most popular restaurant in Lantana is the Old Key Limehouse, and it's the oldest waterfront restaurant in Florida. It is operated out of a family home that was built in 1889. Another pro, if you're a beer drinker, is that there are a few breweries in Eastern Boynton. This is more of an industrial area than the west side of town. These breweries are gaining popularity right now. Novo, Dewpoint, and Dew South are the most visited breweries. A couple of them take you on a brewery tour to show you the process of making the beer. Along with beers, they also sell hard ciders and hard seltzers if you prefer a lighter beverage. Lastly, the schools in Boynton Beach are B-rated schools. I would consider the school system here a pro. B rating is pretty average and above average compared to other schools across the state. If an A rated school are your preference, then you could drive to Boca Raton schools. Those are almost all A rated school districts. Okay, let's talk about the cons of living in Boynton Beach. Take these with a grain of salt because personally, I believe the pros outweigh the cons. While the weather was our first pro for others, it may be the first con. The winters are unbeatable, but the summers get hot and humid. In the summer, it's typically around 85 to 89 degrees with very high humidity. After all, it is a tropical climate. In terms of weather, we have to mention hurricane season, which is also a con. Hurricane season lasts from June to November, the strength of a hurricane is measured by categories one to five, with one being weak and five being very strong. Typically, by the time hurricanes make landfall, they're a category three or lower. Most Floridians, like myself, agree that categories one or two are bearable. If you choose to hunker down and ride out the storm. If a hurricane is a category three or up, you might wanna leave the area. These increased winds, rain, and flooding can cause extreme damage to homes and buildings. Of course, buildings in Florida are built to a higher code standard than most places, but they are not indestructible. So use your best judgment when it comes to deciding if you should stay in town or leave during a major hurricane. The next con to living in Boynton Beach is that our homeowner's insurance does run higher here than in other places that don't see much extreme weather. But not having to pay income taxes, it kind of balances out. The next con to living in Boynton Beach is that golf course neighborhoods charge a move-in or membership fee. Sure, the golf course neighborhoods are at the top of luxury, but not without a hefty price. A sneaky con in these neighborhoods is that homes may appear less expensive in the beginning, but the golf course neighborhoods charge additional fees that other neighborhoods do not. These moving fees can go as high as an extra $100,000 or more. The neighborhood board requires homeowners to pledge a certain amount of money each year for social events, and that's how they afford to offer and maintain those luxurious amenities. The next con is going to disappoint those of you who love to shop. Boynton Beach Mall is, well, quiet, just like the rest of the city. The mall doesn't get a lot of traffic. Most people are making the short drive to Boca Town Center Mall or Wellington Green Mall. These malls are much bigger with great stores and are more popular. Boynton Beach is like one big suburb, so it doesn't have a typical downtown area which is our next con. The city has a lot of scattered shopping plazas. For a wider variety, I recommend sticking to the Boca Town Center Mall. I hope this was helpful as you consider moving to Boynton Beach. It's a peaceful community that offers some of the best homes in Florida without the hassle of bigger towns. 
It does have a tropical climate, which can be hard for some to live with, but you'll find that it's worth it. If you want a taste of South Florida lifestyle without all of the noise and bustle of a big city, Boynton Beach could be the perfect spot for you. Whether you're looking for a beautiful house, the best beaches in the country, to retire here, or simply a great community to live, Boynton Beach has it all. If you're thinking about buying a home in Boynton or Palm Beach County in the next three days or three months, feel free to call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom call with me today. We can help you make a smooth move to your new home in beautiful Palm Beach County. Thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to showing you around town soon.